Hey you guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube. So today's video is going to be vlog style and I'm going to be going in to get filler again. Um, I got filler for the first time last year and make sure you check out that first video because this one is not going to be as in depth. So if you have like questions like what's filler, you know, what can I expect with healing, yada yada yada, make sure you watch that first video because this video is not going to go, you know, into that. Um, but I'm on my way. I'm going to go get ready to go catch the train. I'm going makeup free. You could wear makeup. I mean, they're just going to, you know, obviously take it off um, in the injection area. You could wear makeup if you want to. I'm not doing it because I don't want to have to take it off when I come back home. And I don't want to put it on now because it's going to make me late for the train. And with that said, let's go and get this filler on. <laughs> A little backlit here, but um, that's okay. So I'm at the office now, and I'm about to get numbed. Okay, so just sitting here with the numbing cream. It feels cool. I don't feel anything. You know when you get numbed at the dentist, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my god, I can't feel my mouth. It doesn't feel, you know, I don't feel anything but the coldness of the numbing cream. But it's going to help when, you know, we do the syringe and the filler. I feel like I'm having a reaction to the numbing cream which is normal. So um, we're here, we're thinking about doing Wrestle and Refine, because mm -hmm. you said it's gonna... Yeah, you swell a little bit less. Swell less. So it's a little bit smoother. So it's a little bit smoother. And, yeah. and I used Juvederm. We used Juvederm before, but you didn't go all the way back to your baseline. You have a little bit more volume than you did initially. Okay. So we can use a slightly softer product. Okay. I think it'll be nice. Something slightly softer. Okay. Someone had asked, what's the difference between using a syringe versus a cannula? Cannula? So a, a cannula? Cannula. Yeah, I <laughs> use both of them. Okay. Um... A cannula reduces your risk of bruising some, okay. somewhat. Yeah. Um, so if someone who I'm really concerned about bruising, I will do a cannula. Okay. But sometimes you can be a little bit more precise with the needle. Yeah. So it just kind of depends on the eye. Okay. If I need to do a lot of like bulky work and I need to move the camera throughout, I yeah. move the needle throughout a wide area, I'm more mm -hmm. likely to use a cannula. Okay. If I know that I can go in and just hit some precise areas, then I'll use a needle. Okay. Um, but they're both great. It just depends on like what you need for that patient. Let's go in. Well, I should have me. Okay. Get comfortable this way? Mm hmm We'll start right here. Okay. okay. Where you're a little sunken. Okay. Position the needle. Pull in. Little, just little pinch. Pinch. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. You're a little deep. Not quite well, this is still conservative. We just did a little over half on that one. Yeah, take a look here. Oh. It looks nice. Looks good to me. Yeah, it looks good. I think we might need to use the second one. Okay. If we do, we may not use the whole thing. All right. But you may want to consider putting a little bit somewhere else. Like just putting a little touch here. Oh. It's up to you. Okay. We'll see how you feel. You're okay? Mm -hmm. That's half and half of the one. How do you feel about that? I like it. Like it? Yeah. Now what are you saying about my... If we um, did a little bit more, the mm -hmm. other storage, I'd probably put just a little bit more here. Okay. Um, I could put a, just a touch here where you're starting to get just a little hollow there. Mm -hmm. I think just a little bit, a little bit here at this cheek will help to kind of buttress the eyes a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, we can do a little bit more finessing if we did that. Oh, um, is it true that over time that you you don't need as much filler? That is true. So okay. what happens every time we introduce the needle? There aren't large scale studies showing that, but we know this from just doing it so much, mm -hmm. and and for myself, um, that every time we introduce the needle to your skin. What we notice is that you stimulate some of your own collagen. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, um, so you really, rarely do you go all the way back to your baseline. Certain areas you do more often, like the lips, because the lips are just, are they aggressively metabolizing the lips. Okay. But, um, most of where you started off. Okay, and collagen, that's the protein that's in the skin that gives it the... Exactly. ...snatched yeah. appearance. <laughs> a little bit more hair, just a little bit more hair on the side. Touch. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would you say is a price range for um, consultation, filler? I know filler depends on, you know, which variant yeah, uh, you, you use, how much you need. Yeah. So consultations um, depends on what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. That range is anywhere from 
200 to 400 but whatever the consultation fee is mm -hmm. um, it is applied to the procedure so bigger more extensive procedures like liposuction are going to have a lot a larger consultation fee mm -hmm. than something like filler okay that makes sense yeah. The treatment itself, again, depends on what you need. Um, anywhere from 600, that's more of a half a syringe, mm -hmm. to 800. Um, and then some of the double syringes are 1,200. Okay. And double syringes for more? For more. So there's a filler called Radius that comes mm -hmm. in a larger syringe. Mm -hmm. And so that's for, um, I like that when we're working on the jawline. Mm -hmm. um, it helps to give more structure. So instead of hyaluronic acid, it's made out of calcium. Oh, okay. And so it's just a kind of so totally different product and comes in different sizing, so it's a little bit more expensive. Gotcha. Here, this area pinches, okay? Okay. Mm. So one, two, three, pinch. Mm. Pinch. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll pinch. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last few drops on this eye, and then okay. we're finished. Mm -hmm. Look up for me. Okay. Well, can you open your eyes for me just for a little bit? Okay, let me close them again. I'll give right back some ice for you. How do you feel? I feel good. Okay, so I wound up getting a little bit more than what I thought, like, but. This is what we look like so far. Might bruise up over the next couple of days. Um, the assistant went to go get some ice. I'm gonna sit here and ice up for a little bit and then go on home. Icing up. Ice, ice, baby. All right, so I'm home. Not much of bruising and swelling, but you know, last time I didn't see any of that until like the next day. Um, I'm not going to do a bunch of the checking in day by day to see how the swelling goes up and down because I did that in the last video. So if you want to check that out, check out the last video. Um, I'm expected to have less swelling this time around. So I'll come back once I'm all healed and, and whatever and give you a recap. All right, I almost forgot they gave me these healing gels to put on. So I'm going to put them on right now. I was trying to get it to cover as much area as possible because we also put some filler in here. We had a little drooping. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to be coming in each day and showing you progress because I did that in the last video, so make sure you check that out. Um, but since I do not have any swelling like I did last time, I figured let me, you know, show that I do have bruising, which is um, evident in the areas where the needle was introduced so what i'm gonna do is once i'm all healed up whenever that is in a couple of days whenever we'll come back and we'll we'll talk a little bit more all right so i'm at dr michelle's office right now my follow-up appointment gonna have her take a look at things i don't have any issues i did have a bruise which was to be expected but the bruise has since gone away so we'll just chat with her and see what she says Okay, so everything is fine. I'm gonna get a prescription cream to um, fade some of the discoloration underneath there. And then I decided to get laser hair treatment, so that'll be another video. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, you guys, so a couple of things before I close out this video. So I'm pleased with my results. There was no swelling the second time around. There was some bruising, but that thankfully went away. And that was something that um, I could easily cover with concealer. I mentioned before in my last video when I got this done the first time, I have natural discoloration underneath my eyes. And because filler does tend to, you know, fill in and add some volume, the discoloration is now like kind of concentrated and it looks like it's like in more in one place. Um, that doesn't really bother me. I, before I used a prescription cream and it did help to fade some, um, the prescription cream was a mix of like, I, I don't even remember what it was. If you watch the other video, you'll see that. 
but um, yeah, that doesn't really bother me because that's something that can be covered with concealer if need be. But usually when I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not wearing any makeup. I don't even bother with the concealer unless like I need to like be somewhere, you know? I would definitely do this again. What I got, um, I did get a discount, but what I got would have cost $1,600. And I personally would definitely um, pay that full price for this because I just I just feel like I look more refreshed I I just love the volume that that's you know that I have in my face and like say if something happens and I don't have sixteen hundred dollars next year like it's also not gonna be the end of the world for me but glad to know that this is an option here's a bit of a before after timeline so it's not some big old Jocelyn Wildenstein <laughs> type of you know Bride of Frankenstein kind of difference but as you can see in the before filler picture, the first picture, um, compared to the last two, you do see a lifting where the volume was added into the eye area. Now, if you want a more dramatic result, of course, you would need more filler or maybe a different type of filler. The filler that I got this second time around was a softer one. So basically consult with your dermatologist or Dr. Henry if you're in New York and you can see what your options are. So yeah very pleased would would do it again would definitely do it again um let me know in the comments if you've ever had filler or any type of like um quick maybe like you know what they call like a lunchtime procedure let me know about it in the comments and um make sure you subscribe follow me on social and i'll see you fine folks in my next video bye guys